Kitchen, y'all. This is David Locke, and this is my blog, Boots and Bowties. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite ingredients, lemons and other citrus fruit. So one of the things I always keep in my kitchen, no matter the time of year, are lemons. One of the things I often do with it is just simply zest the lemon. If I want a little bit of citrus uh, flavor on fish, if I want it in a cookie, if I want it in a muffin, I'll zest just the colorful part of the lemon or the orange. You want to make sure when you zest you're using a microplane and you're just getting the colorful area of the peel. If you get the white of the peel, the pith can be a little bit bitter. Lemons are so great because you can also use them to stop fruit from turning brown like apples or pears. You can mix the lemon juice into the water and that's called acidulation and stop the fruit from turning brown. I also use uh, lemons being a southerner. What would uh, tea be without a little bit of a wedge of lemon in our tea? We love oranges. We keep them in our house. We always keep navel oranges. This was my wife's Christmas present was a smeg juicer. And so we always have fresh orange juice every morning. Um, oranges are wonderful even to mix with a little bit of champagne for a Sunday brunch to make a mimosa. And then don't also neglect the fact that lemons can be used to cook things chemically like ceviche with shrimp and fish or carpaccio with beef. I also use lemons to help me clean in the kitchen. So one of the things I'll do is I'll cut my lemon in half, put a little bit of salt on it, and use it on the bottoms of my pots and pans, especially those that are copper. And that's a wonderful way to clean with them. You can also drop a little bit of the peel down in your garbage disposal to help deodorize it. Make sure if you haven't, you take a look at my blog. I've listed there the top 10 best ways that you can use citrus in the kitchen. And also, I don't neglect limes and grapefruit because I love those as well in my cooking. I'm David Locke, and this is my blog, Boots and Bowties. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my blog at bootsandbowties.com.